Tim. Welcome to Watch Want and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Omega Seamaster Aquaterra Annual Calendar, 43 millimeters in stainless steel. This watch, like all watches featured on our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc., represents actual inventory available on our website, Watch You Want, for immediate delivery. So if you like the watch, check out the high res images on our website, Watch You Want. And if you like seeing watch showcases, views, and reviews on our YouTube channel, subscribe to our channel, Watch You Want Inc. on YouTube. Now you can see on the wrist the Omega Seamaster Aquaterra Annual Calendar, 43 millimeters in stainless steel, is the dress-oriented member of the Seamaster continuity. Now the Aquaterras are the upscale watches, the refined watches, more turf than surf within the Seamaster family. You have the oversized, fully contemporary Planet Oceans. You have the more moderately sized sort of baseline of the catalog, which is the 300 meter or the Bond Seamaster. And in a lot of ways, the Aquaterra competes against something like the Breitling Transocean, and it accomplishes within the Seamaster family what Rolex does with the Datejust and the Datejust 2, namely a sports watch sole with a dress watch sensibility. And you can see it really pulls that off on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. The watch has real presence, but it's not oversized. You don't get a sense that it's dwarfing my hand. I can tell you that the heft is substantial, but it's a reassuring solidity rather than an overbearing weight. Plus, as a watch with dress inclinations, you can see that it sits remarkably close to the skin. Now, just over 13 millimeters thick, it has tremendous slope or tumble home at the edge of that conical bezel. So, you know, a sport jacket cuff, a long sleeve, a dress cuff, a blazer, it's going to ride right up and over this watch. So it's a perfect companion for uh, upscale, formal, more subdued accessories, more subdued garb than you might see, for instance, at the beach where your bathing suit and your Planet Ocean are a perfect pair. This is a very versatile timepiece. Now the nice thing about it is the case, which is comfortable and features a nice regular case back shape, spreads its mass nicely. As heavy as it is, there are no hot spots on the skin, and the bracelet is built just as well. A key point of this bracelet, in addition to the beautiful contrasting finish, discreet and brushed on the top with just a little bit of high-end polish on the side, is that the back is nicely sculpted with broad channels between the links so that this is not going to pinch skin or pull hair. Ergonomically, it's a real triumph. Likewise, the clasp, again, a bit more turf than surf, you have a beautiful double deployment with secure twin trigger release so it's not going to open. Now it closes with a satisfying snick. And the nice thing about it is because you don't have a big milled clasp that's hiding a dive extension, you have a nice low profile so that the bracelet represents an uninterrupted continuity from lug to lug. You have that omega marquee showing you the partition point and nothing more. So what you lose perhaps in the versatility of the dive extension, you gain in elegance. And again, with twin trigger release, this is a very enjoyable piece to use, very secure, a pleasure to use in the hand, alternately brushed and polished. The fit and the finish are first rate and up to the standard of omega. Now, the case, although 43 millimeters in absolute size, Stylistically, it's a nod and a wink to Omega's heritage in the sports watch sector. It features the beveled lug look that came into play with the Omega Seamaster Professionals and the Speedmaster Professional models during the mid-1960s. So you've got the nod and the wink to heritage, and it really looks the part. Moving inboard a beautiful conical polished bezel, highly compatible with a dress cuff or a long sleeve, as I noted. You don't have the unidirectional look of the pure tool or utility Seamasters, what you have here is a bit of a lower profile, pared down look, elegant. And the dial itself is defined by a feature that's unique to Omega. They call it the teak deck concept. So you have this vertical striation. It's actually quite a deep texture that runs from top to bottom, exclusive of the minute track outboard. And what it does is it evokes the look of the deck of a yacht, the upscale striated teak deck look, specifically of a vintage yacht. So what you get is a reference to nautical recreation, not so much below the waves, but above it. So very much a Seamaster, but of a different sensibility. Now, all of the features that are applied to the dial are beautifully diamond polished. And because it's still a sports watch, you get abundant bloom. So the watch is highly legible at night. While a lot of dress references, watches that you would wear with, for instance, a tux, a suit, long sleeves, they, they suffer at night. They don't have any loom or sometimes they don't have enough loom. You don't have to worry about that with the Seamaster Aquaterra 
And yet another nod to tradition, the broad arrow minute hand reminds you that Omega is very cognizant of the rich past of its dive watches and its sports watches. Now an interesting wrinkle that's quite special and a relatively recent innovation with Omega since the late 2000s, the debut of the coaxial annual calendar, here portrayed featuring a month and a date. You can see that the apertures, or at least the frames of the apertures, are applied, beautifully finished and tapered off as they move toward the junction of the dial and the bezel, and right here as they move toward the junction of the hands. And that pairs the visual mass of that feature, imparts some elegance, a little bit of an upscale look, and nicely integrates the month and the date feature into the dial. So because it's an annual calendar, you're only going to have to adjust this one five times a year. So you get an element of complication as well as a practical everyday feature that you can use for dating emails, dating correspondence, writing checks. I know I re refer to the date on my watches on a daily basis, so that's a great element to include. And with the annual calendar, you get a pleasant addition of worthwhile complication. Now, the nice thing about the Aquaterra being something of a dress-oriented sports watch is that you do get this display case back. You're still rated to 150 meters, 500 feet, so more than enough for any kind of casual bathing, swimming, shallow scuba diving, but you get to see that gorgeous Omega Caliber 8601 movement. Now we're looking at the coaxial movement all grown up. Since 2007, the 8500 and its derivatives, including this 8601, have really realized the potential of George Daniels' coaxial escapement. Reduced maintenance, improved long-term accuracy, all of that has been realized, and it remains one of the few genuine alternative escapement technologies available for under six figures. Other refinements of this Omega exclusive caliber, not used by any other Swatch Group products, are the dual-anchored balance bridge, much more secure than the cantilevered single-sided balance cock of the first Omega coaxial 2500 calibers, you get a free sprung balance with a silicon hairspring and a silicon balance wheel. Anti-magnetic, very accurate, very stable over the long term. Combining that with the coaxial yields spectacular results. And it is a COSC rated Swiss chronometer, so you get that third party stamp of approval regarding its long-term stability at different temperatures in different positions over a two-week period, independently tested. Omega still COSC certifies the Aquaterra model. They are moving to the Metas standard, which is their own in-house certification, but this one remains COSC. Now the bottom line is all of the traditional COSC chronometer features of the Omega Seamaster and its associated calibers are retained here. You do get a modern 4 hertz beat rate. You do get a hacking seconds feature, so when you pull the crown, it stops the balance, allowing you to synchronize to a known accurate reference time, a clock, um, perhaps an atomic clock online, or even your phone. And because you have that unique annual calendar wrinkle, you have a feature that's not evident in 99% of the Omega COSC certified calibers ever made. The percentage is actually probably even higher than that. The bottom line is the annual calendar, having only been introduced in the Omega catalog since the end of the 2000s, is something you hardly ever see. When you combine it with this 43mm Aquaterra, the latest in-house exclusive coaxial movement, the silicon hairspring and balance, and the peerless aesthetic of the teak deck concept dial, you get a very compelling and very versatile watch. So you can see this Omega Seamaster Aquaterra annual calendar. 43 millimeters in stainless steel on our website watch you want. Like I said, if you like it enough, you can even buy it. Available for immediate delivery. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc.